Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Ghost 11 Vice Squad, brought to you by the Andromus Fly Company and Fly Life Company. After you watch today's video, please head over to our awesome online stores at fishingoutdoors.ca or .net for U.S. and international shoppers. Also, after you watch this video, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and that little reminder bell so you don't miss any of our future episodes. Today I'm going to be tying a variation of the balloon caddis that I fish quite often. We're going to start with this size 14 R7 caddis hook. And we're going to start a thread, 6 aught waxed thread. Just bring it down the hook shank. Right about to there, as we get into the end of the hook. Give it a little twist to really tighten it up a little bit. We're gonna take this rusty orange Cape Hawk dubbing. And then we're just gonna dub the thread. Nice and thin if you can. Benefit to this Cape Hawk dubbing, which I've been using more and more often, is that it will, uh, it's a lot more buoyant than any other summer or sorry, not summer fly, but uh, super fine dubbing. It's actually has a summer fly product. Um, not important though. Anyways, I can leave it as buggy as I want and it will still turn out very uh, buoyant. I think on the package it says it holds up to 30 times its weight or something like that. Anyways, bring it back up to here until we get into the back of the plateau with the hook, giving it a little taper as we go. Okay, stop right about there. Now we're gonna take deer hair has some pretty, pretty good uh, black tips to it. It's a piece I like to use. We're gonna create a hair wing out of it, so. And now when we see it, we get all those black tips aligned. So for this one right here, which we're just gonna take out of the mix. Get all your black tips aligned. When you're changing fingers, do not twist. Or changing hands, do not twist your fingers. Grab tightly and adjust. Now we're gonna measure this out just longer than the body. Right about there. Pinch it. A couple collecting wraps and then a third. We're gonna bear down. Now we're just gonna go through the butt ends to really secure it. Snip it off pretty, pretty close. With enough of a taper that you can really cinch down the butt ends again. You need to have that roll on you. Now we're going to tie in a piece of brown foam. Uh, light brown is usually the way I go. Adjust it however you would like. If you guys have special hatches near you that you want to count for, then do that. Cut a triangle on it, which is going to be our tie-in point. And break it down with your thumbnail before you tie it in. That way it doesn't tear on you. And then just bring it back to your wing. A little bit of extra here, cut it off. Collect it again. Now we're gonna take our K-Pock dubbing again. Oops, got some buttons that didn't get clipped. Easily snip them out of there, okay. Now we're gonna take, once again, the rusty orange color. You can also adjust this all you want. I like the rusty orange. 
happens to work well. Very close to a cinnamon caddis color. I'm gonna dub this right here. Then I'm gonna get a little bit more. And I wanna work this to the point where I'm actually in the middle of the dubbed the dubbing right here instead of right next to the hair It'll be right in the middle that way when I pull this over and tie it in it's not going to push this wing down it's going to leave the wing be free standing by its own fold it over catch it tie in spit that off Couple tightening wraps. Make sure you got it all right there. And then a little piece of orange foam as a cider. Now we're just gonna half hitch off, do it over top of the foam. Don't bear down on it overly, just enough to clinch it. Don't wanna break your thread. One more for good measure. All right, we're gonna snip off our thread right here. Rotate a couple times, but it's looking pretty good to me. Wings upright. Got a pretty good foam right there. No twisting on me. All right. And that is my variation of the balloon caddis. I use this quite often on brook trout streams. Use a size 18 pheasant tail underneath of it. Works really well throughout the summer. So now that you guys watched today's video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and the little reminder bell so you don't miss next week's episode. And also, please check out our awesome online store at fishingandoutdoors.net, or sorry, CA, or .net for U.S. and international shoppers. Hope you guys liked today's video, and hope to see you guys next week. Have a great day.